Hello everyone, Ginma the Samurai here, and welcome back to this part of Tales of the Abyss Blind. Alright, so I got told I actually missed some stuff over in uh, Chesedonia, Chesedonia. So, tell you guys what, I'm actually going to utilize the power of time travel this part to go back and uh, see what I can do. Um, I heard one quest is really hard and may or may not require spoilers to understand it. I'm not going to look up anything, but I'm going to try. <laughs> and figure it out naturally. I don't know, we'll see. Either way, I will see you guys back in Chesedonia and anything else I missed really, so see you guys in a second. Oh, what the heck? Hello. Uh, I don't know if this is one of the things, but anyway. What's with this guy? Me, Ant, Lion Man, Ant Lion Man. Ant Lion Man. Oh, I've heard of those. It's a magical creature from the fairy tales of Algerant. But that's just a story. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh well, does it really matter? The person inside the costume seems to enjoy playing the role. Me, Ant Lion Man, you give me Apple Gel. Huh? Me give you good thing in return. Sure? Well, okay. Here you go. Uh, okay. Oh. Hey, don't throw it away. This be good thing in return. You <laughs> learned fried chicken recipe. Hey, it really is something good. I don't quite understand what that was about, but let's go ahead and take it. Let's play again sometime. That gel was covered in sand and swallowed. That guy sure is getting into character. No kidding. Maybe he's a little more than just in character. Uh, can I... Okay, I can't do anything with that. Sorry if you guys hear uh, the old school barking in the background. Um, anyways, uh, I'll be right back. Uh, hello. Are you really interested in doing business? But, like, without getting the goods, there's, like, nothing I can do, you know? Hmm, what are you planning to deal in? Stuff called trade items. Uh, oh my gosh, one second. What? Okay, sorry about that. I'd like deliver them to craftsmen and get them to make items and stuff. Didn't we have some trade items? Whoa, seriously? Do we? I don't... I don't even know. Uh... Sure. It's been two years. Yeah, we have some. Uh, then, uh, what's your name anyway? Meet Luke. Oh, sorry about that. One second again. Oh, sorry, I keep getting interrupted. Anyways, um... Congratulations, Lou. I'm officially design designating you my sponsor. What? There's just so few people collecting those trade items, you know? I, like, really appreciate it. Hey, I didn't agree to anything. What? Did you just come here to tease me? To toy with me? N no, it's not that. Great, that's my Lou. Okay then, I'll like, explain how it works. This is a girl, I don't even know. Um, sure, let's listen to the explanation, why don't I we? I get the materials, just make stuff, you get how trade items from them, made them really cheap, buy them lots of extra money, money when you make the set like it. Then they may be more motivated, they can make a whole lot of money, but I'll just trade it. You may be more likely to get something good. So this is like a forge thing. That's really neat. I know the trades would be happier being turned over to me rather than being sold off for raw gold. I'm sure of it. So, has the minus to trade? It, yes. Okay. Uh. All right. Uh. Dang. All right. So I need a whole lot more of each of these. Okay. So that's good to know for later. Okay. Hello. Oh. Cutscene. Well, hello there. Perfect timing. I wanted to thank you. For what? With the bridge eye, I couldn't go back, but in the Grand Cho Kokma, that jewel you gave me sold for more than enough to pay for, for the return passage by ship. You... you sold it? Yeah, thanks a lot. You can use my coach any time. Well, once they fix the bridge, anyway. Okay. Huh. Hey, something wrong? N no it's nothing. Huh? Mother, I'm sorry. 
Oh. Oh, that's a yikes. Okay. Uh, guys? So... In the least spoilery way possible, I guess keep me updated on that quest, because I heard it's hard to do. That sounds... So, we're probably trying to get her jewel back? Is that what the whole thing is? Okay. Alright, well, that's good to know. Alright, well, I'll see you guys at the next thing. Okay, so we're going back into the mansion now. So... Okay. Hello, ma'am. Look, Master has informed us of your arrival. Please make yourselves comfortable. I see. Oh my gosh, he has a statue. Astor designed the sitting room with this visitor seat set slightly lower. Almost nobody notices, though. Wow. I mean, I don't know. It's weirdly comfortable. Not my tush. I don't really. <laughs> I don't like low chairs, though. Do you guys like low chairs? I don't like low chairs. Um, like, <laughs> it's funny enough. One of the chairs in this room, I don't use it for this exact reason. Um, it's one of those like rolling chairs, but the uh, support that's supposed to like keep it up uh, doesn't work so if you sit in it and you are of, e of any decent weight it's gonna basically just like launch you down <laughs> so that's not good um, but that's a thing anyways um, okay so here's this guy's office is there anything of note in here so I heard there's something in this guy's mansion in general this looks like a place we're gonna be back at later if this is anything like Symphonia, where they had like a whole lot of back and forth. Um, I don't think this is where I entered this room from, right? Okay, well that is uh, something? Hold on, let me look at my uh, hint. Oh! Time traveling hero? Okay, so this is supposedly for Anis. Okay, so her defense goes down? Has a red bandana. Greatly raises critical hit rate. All right, it's, it's, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. All right. Well, anyways, um, with that, guys, I'm gonna check one more time. But I think that's it. So, anyways, I'll see you guys. Actually, there's a chest I missed uh, on the boat. So, I'll see you guys there. Hey, uh, Snivy. What's up? I I already got the chest. Oh. Well, excuse me, man. Yeah, yeah, you better be excused. Come on, man. I went all the way back here. Hey, man, it's not my fault that you missed it on the oh, first I'm shot. sorry, okay? I'm trying to grab the stupid chat. All right, and now we are back to the present. So I'm sure there's a few things I forgot to do. Um, I think one thing for sure that I forgot to do, and I'm not going to go back and do it, was uh, that one guy who gave me, like, the free apple gel and, like, the antidote or whatever. I don't know if that's an important quest. Um, but I know the one with the merchant thing sounded intriguing to me, so guys, please give advice for that. Um, and yeah, because honestly, I, I don't know, I'm gonna help out my girl when you catch my drift in, in this most cringy thing, which is why I'm glad no one is home today, so I can be as over the top as possible. So, um, the air cars are really great, they go whoosh, and then you're there. There's air cars? I want an air car. Someone give me an air car. <laughs> this is where, like, you have the... the the hypothetical. You know why people haven't made flying cars? You think ground collisions are bad. Think about air collisions, okay? I mean, which those happen with airplanes. Now imagine that all the time. That would be bad. So, you know. Um, I wonder how this world deals with it. Also, yes, the Miyagi Dojo. So, anyways, um, without further ado, and I forgot to hit the stopwatch, but that's okay. So I know I have a little bit over 30 minutes um, to record for this part. Um, so last part I made a little bit longer just because it had been so long, but I kind of want to go into this format because I feel it'll just be a little bit better. Um, so without further ado, um, hello, sir. Different people live in different levels of Batacle. This level is where, the, where all the ordinary people like us live. Ah, I see. Unfortunate. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, but this elevator is currently out of service. Alright, uh, where am I supposed to go? Oh. Good day, sir. Please use this elevator to reach the upper level. Got it. Oh, man. Actually, I really do like the aesthetic of uh, this town. Um, a lot of Tales cities, I don't really think, are very interestingly designed. Oh, I, by the way, I have something to mention in terms of skits. Um, <sighs> Luke seems unhappy. Even after getting back home, it's no different than any anywhere else. Poor Luke. 
Tyr um... Hey, Luke, let's wander around the city. Why, I just want to get home already. Wow, that's moving fast. We've come all this way. Might as well have a little more fun. Think of it as sightseeing. I don't really feel like... Come on, after all, not everyone here has been to Batical before. Yes, that sounds good to me. Sh sure, why not? I don't mind. Me neither. I think that's a fine idea. There you have it, Luke. Shall we? All right, all right, whatever. <laughs> hey, everyone's looking out for you, man. Good day, sir. Please proceed. Good day, sir. The elevator leads to the city center. Got it. But yeah, um, normally... Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about the skits. So, um... Uh, since I had to redo that boss fight, I actually got a skit with Mew uh, when I wasn't recording. I thought it was a skit I'd seen before. Um, it wasn't. And uh, he was actually telling me I was fighting pretty darn well. I don't know if it's... <laughs> I guess I got like 30 hits in a row on the boss. Too bad you guys didn't get to see that. Um, but either way... <laughs> this can is for attacking invaders. Those primarily used to destroy monsters that escape from those factory ruins. Hmm, I see. Okay, well... Good day, sir. The king awaits you. Please proceed to the castle. Uh, not quite yet. Good day, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna look around. Um, hmm. Hello. You must keep this Fontech Blaster 2 in top condition in order to protect Batical. Is, is it a Fontech Blaster Master 0 2? Uh, <laughs> okay. Good day, sir. His Majesty awaits you. Oh, uh, one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. Um, what is over here? Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll find out. Watch, this actually leads to plot and the other thing does not. I would believe it. Uh, hi. Good day, sir. His Majesty awaits you. Okay, I'm going back down. <laughs> this feels like plot. This feels so much like plot. And what was in the other room? Well, it's good that I made a save point not that long ago. If something starts happening, I'll just dip because I just want to see what, you know, happens. Um, sorry about me cutting out, by the way. Um, Landlord was mowing around here, so let's go over here and let's see. Oh, hello. Please refrain from conversation. <laughs> well, excuse you, I'm going to have a conversation. We are currently in a conference. Club 2, man! Um, actually, <laughs> so at school today, um, they had a, a scholarship uh, meeting, or basically they were just awarding people scholarships. That was a scholarship awarding ceremony, um, which is weird. But um, anyways, so I went there, and it was, there was a whole bunch of people uh, in this room. Well, actually, I didn't know what was going on. Sorry, I back up. So I was leaving one of my classes, and uh, I was on my way uh, to basically to go study and when I arrived in the building um, I just had like a ton of faces all staring at me at once because I just kind of opened the door I didn't know what was going on and so I was just like uh, and I just kind of took the door and just shut it and just walked back out <laughs> so uh, there you go that's a, that's a real life story for you shut up I'll keep talking um, <laughs> hello sir Please be quiet. No, I will not be quiet. I want to interrupt your meeting. I want to see. Oh, is that the title screen thing? I think that's the title screen thing. That's cool. That's really cool. All right. Whatever. Let's just move on. Okay. I thought you were walking in place. That's a little unusual, but that's okay. Um. All right. So I'm expecting something bad to happen. I'm not sure quite what yet, but I think something bad will happen. So looking forward to that. But I don't think Luke wants to go back because he was just kind of kept there all day. He didn't get to see the world. He's gotten to see the world. Doesn't want to go back. So now I'm up here. Hello. Good day, sir. The elevator is currently out of service. You know, for sightseeing, the game isn't really letting me explore around much. I feel this would be a lot more satisfying if I wasn't being so railroaded towards the guy. Good day, sir. The... Please proceed through the castle doors ahead. Good day, sir. Please see the king in the audience hall. Yeah, 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 yeah. My deepest apologies, but his majesty is waiting for you at the castle. Shut the frick up. I want to explore, dang it. Um, oh, this is still cool. Yeah, I really like the architecture of this place. I was starting to say that earlier, but um, 
most of these games, like, especially they're more, like, simple villages kind of blend in with each other, but, um, yeah, I don't know. This, this place has a really cool, like, very militaristic design, which makes sense. Um, alright. Good day, sir. Please proceed into the castle. Good day, sir. King Ingobert the Sixth awaits you in the audience hall. Is that his name? I didn't remember his name. Ingobert. It reminds me of Dinkleberg. Dinkleberg! Okay, you're definitely walking in place. Alright, so now you're moving. Good day, sir. The king awaits you in the audience hall, up the stairway. Alright. Hello. Good day, sir. Please proceed to the... Look, this is very redundant. Guys, could you stop saying good day, sir, and say something else? Hmm. No! Stop! I want, I want interesting dialogue, dang it. <laughs> um. Okay. Hello. <sighs> Whatever. Um, so, anyways. This is really cool. I kind of like the music here. Alright, so let's go over here. Alright, so this castle is actually pretty open. Uh, this is not the same castle as uh, where we were at the start of the game, is it? Hello, ma'am. Oh, um, may I help you, ma'am? No, no, I was just... That's a cute uniform. I, I mean, I don't want to try it on or anything. It wouldn't look good on me anyway. Huh? You like cute stuff, Tear? That's kind of surprising. No, I would, it wouldn't look good on me. I wasn't... I'm sure you'd look lovely, ma'am. Oh, please tell me you get a costume. I think so, too. What? Yeah, maybe so. She looks demure when she keeps her mouth shut after all. Wow. Wow, Luke. Why are you so rude? I think it would look good on you if you ask me. Yeah, I mean... You know, if I make any comment about that, people are gonna assume anything. Frick it. Yeah, uh... Made tier? Sure. Does someone have art of <laughs> Send that to my Twitter. At Genma the Samurai. Uh, spelt the same way as my YouTube thing. Anything on those lines. Feel free to send it that way. May or may not retweet. I don't know. Just feel free. Just move it move it that way. Again, I'm only doing this because no one is home. Um, let's head up this way. So, uh... Frick, there was someone here and I will find them. And I will talk to them. And they will say, good day, sir. So, uh... Is there anything up here? Camera, camera... Camera, please. Please don't. Please don't be that guy. Please. I can. Good. Yeah. This is not worth it. They all say good day, sir. Can. This is going to be the title of the part. That's what it's going to be. All right. You guys came to see this part. Well, too bad. Something different. <laughs> the audience hall can be reached through the door at the top of the stairway. You said something different. I need to award you, sir. Sir, do you want status? Fame? I can't give that to you because I, I'm, I'm not, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna be losing my like royalty status. Something bad's gonna happen. I mean, why wouldn't it? Oh, that's, okay, I thought that was another floor. I didn't know that was in front of the camera. Okay. Grand Maestro Mose is currently in an audience with his majesty. Please wait. Mose is the guy trying to start the war, right? Let's get in there before he gives my uncle any weird ideas. Please stop. I'm Luke, son of Duke Fabra. Get in my way and I'll have them fire you. Luke, are you sure it's okay to force our way in like this? Apparently is isn't. Fine. No, it won't be. This is gonna end really badly. It's okay. The Malkuth Empire is strengthening the defenses in their capital, Grand Copa. With N'Gabe as their supply base, even St. Bina has been... Mmm. Oh my gosh, that guy's How face. Who gave you of course. To enter the hall? Shut up! Out of my way! Luke, my guy. Is that you, Luke? Suzanne's son? That's right, Uncle. Oh, we never met the Emperor, did we? That was our uncle, the... Ah, yeah, okay. I heard what happened. I'm glad to see you back safely from Malkuth. Then the people beside you must be. Phone Master Ion of the Order of Lorelei, and Jade from the Malkuth military. 
It is an honor to see you again, Your Majesty. I am Ion. Bone Master, we've been looking for you. Mose, let us speak later. Your Majesty, this is Colonel Jade Curtis. He represents His Imperial Majesty, Peony the Ninth. I am honored to be in your presence. I bear an Imperial letter from my Lord for His Glorious Majesty, King Ingelbert VI. <laughs> Uncle, what Moses is saying is nonsense. I went and saw Malkuth with my own eyes. We didn't get close to the capital, but in Gave and St. Bina were completely peaceful. What did you say? I'm merely trying to convey to His Majesty the threat that Malkuth... Shut up! Mm -hmm. You're just trying to start a war. I don't even know you, and I'm sick of you already. Luke, calm down. The letter from Malkuth has made it here. I won't ignore it. You all must be tired from your long journey. Please, get some rest. We've prepared rooms in the castle for our emissary guests. Mm. Please, allow me to escort you. If I may, I'd love to see Luke's manor. Very well. When your business is finished outside, please return to the castle. Tyr, you stay here. Mm. I must hear your report regarding the matter I assign you. Grand Maestro, it is my responsibility to see that Luke makes it safely to his manor. I will return with my report shortly. Very well. I bid you mm. my name, Your Majesty. So wait, who is this guy? Is this guy part of the... So this guy's part of that weird... The, the religion thing... The Order of Laurel, or is he part of the Order? I, okay, you know what, whatever. Comment section, help me out here. All right, <laughs> wait. Luke, Suzanne has fallen ill. Mother's okay. sick? I've sent Natalia to her side in my place. Please, mm -hmm. look after them for me. Well, that's bad. That Mose, it looks like he's trying to start a war after all. Telling lies to Uncle about Malkuth. Well, in any case, the letter has changed hands safely. I'm certain that His Majesty won't ignore it. I'll make sure to arrange a chance for you to talk with him further later. Well, well, Luke. I see your rank is indeed useful after all. Do you always need to talk talk like that? My apologies. I really do appreciate your help. <laughs> you think you're so special. Hey, man. Jade is the best. He is special. Good day, <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> okay. My deepest apologies for not realizing you were Duke Falbro's son. Knew it. Alright, so, uh... Alright. Natalia was wanting to see you. Got it. Well, I guess that's all you guys gotta say. I like the statues. This is a cool room. All right, well, let's go. All right, so with that, um, let's head... I guess out and then left. Oh, that one guard must have been blocking the way to uh, my manor. Okay, that makes sense. So let's save over... Uh, I don't know, that one? Let's do that. Okay. And... Come on. There we go. Cool. Alright, well, let's go. But yeah, I do actually appreciate the music a whole lot more now that I have, like, a headset feeding it directly into my brain cells. Um, <laughs> so, let's just move on. Master Luke, we've been waiting for your return! Okay. They say that now. Father. Oh, oh. man. I've heard the report from General Cecile. I'm glad you're safe. Thank you for your help, Guy. It is my honor, sir. I see the emissaries are with you. You must be tired. Please, relax and make yourselves comfortable. Thank you. By the way, Luke, where is Dorian General Grants? Master Van? We split up at Casedonia. He said he'd come by boat later. Duke Fabra, I'll head mm. to the boat. He ain't coming by boat later. Yes. I'll leave the matter of Van to you. I'll go to the castle. <laughs> Look, I keep making these I guesses. Plot's probably going to do whatever it wants, but it's, it's fun to joke about that. I apologize mm. for the trouble I've caused. Your Van's sister? Yes. 
I've received a report that you intended to assassinate Van. Yeah, that or this were you is awkward. Conspiring with him instead. Conspiring? I don't understand what you mean. Well, I'll leave that alone for now. Let's go, General. His Grace was acting strange. Huh. I wonder what's up with Master Van. I think I should be going too. As long as you're here, you should probably apologize to the lady as well. She probably fell ill because Luke went missing. You're right. I'll do that. Well, it, it, this whole situation's got to be like really weird for her because she came in to this mansion. She knocked everyone the frick asleep and then tried to kill Van and then whoosh! Son's gone. Mom's like, oh god, my son's gone. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, and, and then she freaks out and, and then bleh. But that's not a death blah. That's a, that's a death bed blah, but that's not a death blah. Or something. God. What an impressive manner. Look at all these decorations on the walls. Maybe, but I don't have a clue what they mean. I don't really care either. What a shame. Just look at all the history around you. I mean, that's the everyday for him, though. How about that sword that's hanging near the entrance? <laughs> oh, that? As I recall, that was brought back from some battle, along with proof of victory over the enemy commander. Proof? His head. The commander's head. Head? I just better keep away from that thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Talk. You know, it probably doesn't actually exist modeled in the room. Oh. Is it the one on the pillar there? Okay. I can see it. It's really pixelated. But I see it. Um, so from replaying the intro, I think their room was on the far left? And then down the hall? Something like that? You! You're the other person from the opening! Uh, hi! <laughs> what kind of attitude is that? Do you realize how worried I was? Oh, well, you know. Luke's just embarrassed, your highness. Guy, you have some explaining to do, too. I told you to come tell me before you went searching for Luke. Why did you leave without speaking to me? <laughs> you know a servant like me can't get into the castle? Why are you backing away? You know why. <laughs> Once I marry Luke, you'll be my servant. Too. Oh, that's right. Oh, you're you're the one. Oh, right. He was gonna be married. Okay. All right. I mean. Get used to it. I mean, um. <clears throat> anyway. I can't. Twitter. <laughs> you're so strange. Look how. Oh God. I don't know what the maids see in you. I'm sorry to hear about that. What's going on with Master Van? Oh, my father didn't tell you? They suspect Van of being behind your disappearance. So that's why he asked if I was conspiring with Van. Hmm. Oh? Who's this? Luke! Don't tell me you're taking advantage of one of your servant girls. Oh, okay. Just give me one of those moments. What? There's no way I'd touch a chick as cold as that. <laughs> Besides, she's not a servant. She's Master Van's sister. Oh, you're the one who caused this commotion in the first place. Tear was it? Okay, your personality is absolutely nothing like what I expected. Enough about that. Tell me what's going to happen okay. to Master Van. Van will likely be arrested as soon as he arrives in Batical. Worst case, I presume he'd be executed. You guys... It'll, you know, it's almost like you teleported into the scene. Hi. Oh no! Ion! The Commandant's in danger! Yes, we must issue a protest from Doth at once. Natalia, Master Van wasn't involved. Please, talk to Uncle about it. You've got to save him. Huh? Alright, I can't turn down a request from you, Luke. In exchange, please hurry and remember... Okay, you know, I, I actually did clock out a little bit off of what was said just now, so we had... Okay, so they suspect Van of being behind me disappearing, I think. Did I read that right? 
I have to go back <laughs> over the video. I told you, I don't remember proposing to you when I was a little kid. Yes, yes, your memory lost. But how romantic would it be if the first thing you remember was your proposal? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hurry up and go talk to Uncle about Master Van. Honestly, you can be so mean. Fine. Yeah, her personality is nothing like what I expected. Okay. There goes Natalia again. Something's never changed, I guess. She sure looked like a princess, didn't she? Pretty clothes, real bearing, elegant speech. <laughs> I guess that's the upper class for you. A little boisterous, too. Well, you must be upper class yourself, then, Anis. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> ah, enough already. Oh my gosh. Luke, he's always so annoyed. Alright, well, let's move this way. Um... Yeah, I did not expect that little exchange in the slightest. Um, oh gosh, we're already almost at like 30 minutes. Okay, well hopefully I don't get bombarded with plot. If I do, it's gonna be a longer part than I really ever expected this to be. But hey, you know, that's not a bad thing. Um. Oh, Luke, is it really you? I was so worried about you. I was certain you'd been kidnapped again. I'm fine. Here I am, home again. Madam, I beg your forgiveness. I'm the one who involved your son. I tried to strike down my brother without thought to where I was. So, you are Van's sister, Tyr? Yes. I see. You say that what happened this time was not the work of villains pursuing my son? By Lorelei and Yulia, I swear it was not. Thank you. And Tyr? I don't know what's happened between you and Van. But please, Never again think of striking down your own brother. Family fighting family is entirely too sad. I am grateful for your kind words. And they're like so forgiving Luke, of this kind of thing. Come back to me. I'm fine now. Go let everyone see that you've returned. Oh, right. Okay. Well, either way, um, let's just get moving then. Um, there's nothing inside. Okay. Please take care of yourself. Yeah. Oh gosh. I'm just really wondering what's gonna happen from here. Cause all right, we're back home. They're probably gonna want Luke to stay stuck here. Um, and then he's gonna want to not. So I don't even know. Well, actually, no. I think we're still good. We got like another ten minutes on the part. Um, I can go to my room. Have everyone comment on that. Oh, it's so messy. Actually, we have maids. They do everything. Are you tired? Feel free to get some rest. Sure. We need to get some sleep anyway. Just to recuperate our health and all of that. Well, I guess I'll be going then. The White Knights are having a fit that your search was left in the hands of a mere servant like me. Mm. Time to go kiss up while I give my report. It's time for us to go as well. Luke... Please don't forget about me. It was a fascinating experience. Okay, well this is more than just sleeping, but yeah, okay. See you. I need to report to Grand Maestro Mose, so I'll be leaving now too. Oh, okay. You have a kind mother. Make sure you take good care oh, of her. Bye, dear. Like you're in a position to be telling me that. I suppose you're right. Farewell. Hey, wait. Yes? Don't worry about it too much. Hmm? Huh? Mother fell ill because she was frail to begin with. Thanks. Aww. <laughs> Alright. Batical, the capital of light, kingdom of Kimlaska, Lenvaldir, Gnome Day, Gnome Decon 2. Ah, so we're back to how it was with the everyday. Good morning, Master Luke. Another beautiful day today, isn't it? According to the order of Lorelei's score, though, there may be some slight rain later. A messenger arrived from Princess Natalia, requesting your presence in the castle. It's okay for me to leave the manor now? Yes, apparently so. Hmm. That's interesting. What can Natalia want? 
She may have come here directly. Could it have something to do with Uncle? Maybe it's about Master Van. But still, they sure won't let me out without much of a fuss. Oh, they sh Okay, I, I misread that entire line. So what was with these past seven years? Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, maybe the way they see it... Okay, you're hearing dog noises. One second. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, it's certainly interesting. I mean, maybe if we're gonna think positively, which we shouldn't, um, <laughs> it, you know, maybe they were like, yeah, Luke's been out into the world. It's fine now. It's not fine. It's never fine. Um, okay, well, let's head back out. You know, I remember not liking or like finding the structure of that courtyard a little weird. It's like, I'm gonna, gonna I'm just gonna head this way. It looks like an exit. It isn't an exit. It just leads to water, I guess. It's pretty all things considered. Oh, the maids are just lining up as a funeral uh, position. <laughs> okay. Have a good day, Master Luke. All right, is it same thing? Man, all these NPCs that say the same. Oh, that's a cool detail. I like that. This is before everything goes south. All right, so hello. Everyone is waiting for you at the castle. Got it. So, yeah, we're not actually the prince. We're the... Nephew prince. I'll go with that. That's not the term, but... You know. Royalty. Then the seventh phone stone is an Xeriuth? Hmm. Yes, it's likely that Luke will also wind up going there. And... Hmm? No. Oh, greetings, Luke. We've been waiting for you. Colonel Curtis is already waiting inside. Jade's here? Let's go. Huh. There's something shady going on here. I mean, I've always been wondering a little bit with Tyr. I don't know. Okay. Ah, we've been waiting for you, Luke. Hmm? An emergency assembly was called last night. We agreed to formalize a treaty with Malkuth. The letter from Malkuth contained the proposal for the peace treaty, but also a request for aid. There is a mining city in Malkuth called Axeriuth. It is facing a crisis due to the miasma, the poison blight that seeps up from Gnome's domain. Okay. Malkuth can't rescue its own citizens because the miasma is blocking their road to Axeriuth. Hmm. But Axeriuth was originally our territory. So naturally, there's also a connecting road from the Kite Sewer side. With that in mind, they requested our aid to protect their citizens. Yeah, helping their people would be a nice gesture, but what's that guy to do with <laughs> I love the hand gestures. His Majesty has graciously okay. assigned you the honor of becoming Kimlaska Lanvaldir's goodwill ambassador. Okay. Me? No. I've had enough fighting already. Oh, you're gonna see a whole lot more, man. I got a video to game to play. <laughs> we too are uncertain regarding Van's guilt. Thus, we have a proposal. If you will travel to Axeriuth as a goodwill ambassador, we will release Van and have him aid you. Hmm. Master Van's been arrested? He's being held beneath the castle. All right, if you'll set Master Van free. You become a lot more cooperative when Van is involved. <laughs> I'm glad you've agreed to help. That's his favorite There's line. There's a reason why you must be the one to fulfill this role. What? Look at this phone stone. This is part of Yulia Jue's sixth phone stone, which fell into our nation's territory. Xemnas? Xemnas, is that you? That's a... I mean, you, pro, you guys probably know what Kingdom Hearts is. Is that his voice actor? Someone look that up uh, and let me know. Either way, 
Okay. Tyr, read the score that is written on the lower portion of this foam stone. Yes, Your Majesty. Okay. ND 2000. In Kimlaska shall be born the scion of Lorelei's power. He will be of royal blood with hair of red. He shall be called the Light of the Sacred Flame. And he will lead Kimlaska Landvoldir to new prosperity. Yeah, that's the line from the intro. ND 2018. The young scion of Lorelei's power shall bring his people to the minor city. There... And the rest is missing. Hmm. That's sufficient. In other words, Luke, you are the chosen. All right, leader. one second again, guys. Dog. No. No. Come on, Gabby. Come on. Okay, sorry about that. I keep getting dog interruptions, so that's a thing. Anyways, <laughs> that's sufficient. In other words, Luke, you are the chosen youth. Okay, so... They're officially recognizing me as a chosen one. Don't worry. Have confidence in yourself. You've been chosen. The power of hyper resonance will make you a hero. A hero? Me a hero? Mm hmm. You're being used, my guy. I think. But. Huh. It pained us to confine you, but people sought you for your power. Now, though, it is time you became a That hero. is totally Zemnis. It's just like Master Van said. Like, is that weird a hero. voice he has? What is it, Colonel? It's very Master. distinct. Well, who shall accompany him besides me? The Order of Lorelei wishes to send along Tyr and Van. Luke, who would you like to take with you? You should take Guy with you as your personal attendant. You asked me and then you just told me. I don't care, as long as Master Van's going. Why don't you marry him? <laughs> I'm kidding. Father, I really uh, think that I should go along as an ambassador as well. Of course you do. I told you last night, that will not do. Uncle, may I go see Master Van? Oh man. Do as you wish. I'll have the others who are to accompany you wait in front of the castle. Okay, so you received the ambassador title. Nice. Okay, Van imprisoned. So Master Van really was captured, but me, a goodwill ambassador. Yeah. If saving the people and ask Xeriath will free Van, I'll do it. I Xeriath? Besides, if the treaty goes through, I might become a hero. Okay. Then maybe they'd let me be free. It's just like Master Van said. I can't wait to tell him about this. <laughs> wow. This is interesting. I'm really interested to see where the plot goes. Luke, please take Tyr and Van with you. Master Luke, Dorian General Grants is downstairs. Luke, Julia has given you the power. I can't. I cannot do that voice. Luke. Julia has given you the power of hyper resonance. Use it to save Axeriuth. Good day, sir. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, my father, now let me take part of, in such an important mission. I have high expectations for you, Luke. Alright, well, see you guys later. I'm off to have a sweet party. We're gonna. I'm gonna talk to Van before we leave. Watch it, it kicks off plot. It doesn't even let me save when I do it. I believe it. Um, well, we can try at the very least. So let's head this way. Um, I am not sure which way is downstairs, but we're going to keep heading right because, I don't know, it's a direction to go. Uh, no, this goes to the maid. Good day, sir. Good day to you, too. I don't have the entire party, at least visible yet. Okay, that's why she didn't comment on tier at all. Um, 
So let's head this way. Um, is it the left? I don't think I was able to go that way yet. Okay, I think I can now. Okay. Let's go and talk to Van! Who is probably down here. Prisoner cell, yep. Okay. So, let's go down here. You know, that's very reminiscent of a room in Final Fantasy VII. Just because stairs. Master. Look, I have really shallow comparison reasons sometimes. And <laughs> I've provided him a summary of what's happened. Hmm. There's no one here now but us, so I want you to stay calm and listen to what I say. Uh -huh. Huh? Luke, will you join me as a member of the Oracle Knights? What are you talking about? Uh -huh. You probably assumed this trip to Axarioth was a simple matter. But in fulfilling that role, you will become Kim Laska's pet dog. Trapped on a leash in Batacle for the rest of your life. Why? You're the one who told me I'd be free if I became a hero. Hmm. But going to Axarioth won't do. You heard Yulia Jue's score, did you not? Yeah, it said I'd bring prosperity to Kim Laska and stuff. The score continues. The youth will turn power to calamity and be as a weapon of Kim Laska. How do you have proof of that? I mean... Hmm. Those in the upper ranks of the Order believe you will bring war to the Rubnica Plains. Me bring war? That's ridiculous! Yulia's score has never been wrong. Not once. I want to save you before you're used for war. What should I do? If I don't go to Axirius, those people will be in trouble. This camera angle. This is what the score says. You will take the people of Axarioth and move them away. As a result, war will break out. So what you must do is remove the miasma without moving the citizens of Axarioth. The miasma is that poison stuff, right? How can I do that? Cause a hyper resonance and neutralize the miasma. After that, hmm. you can run away with me to Doth. With that, war will be averted and you'll obtain your freedom. I wonder if I can. I don't know if I can cause a hyper resonance on my own. I'll help you, like I did on board the ship when I calmed your hyper resonance. This is so, so fishy, you though. You mustn't tell anyone of this plan until right before we put it into action. I mean, I'd, I'd believe the Empire Especially because it's an Empire to do that. But... If they were to learn, you'd lose your chance to escape to Doth. Master, how come you're so nice to me? Ah, that's right. That was lost with the rest of your memory. Hmm. Did I say something before? When you were young, you told this me is going to be a way longer part than I meant for it to be. You underwent cruel experiments for the purpose of hyper resonance research, and you wanted to run away from this country. That's why, on that day seven years ago, I kidnapped you. You kidnapped me, not Malkuth. This time. I won't fail. I need you. That's the first time anyone's ever told me they needed me. You're the only one who's ever praised me and scolded me and taken me seriously. Well, that's Master, an. I'll join that's you. an interesting twist. I don't know. I just don't trust him. I just don't. <laughs> Good. But then let's be going to seize your future. Yeah. Okay. Well, um. Dang. And also, of course, the princess just heard all of that. Either way, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this part. Please no plot. 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 Okay, Luke and Van. Alright, I'll read that. <laughs> what is it, Luke? I was just thinking about going to Axarius. I'm all excited. This is the first time I've gone anywhere with you, Master Van. I see. It's not the first time, though. Huh? But I... Don't worry about it. There's no need to concern yourself with things you can't remember. Hmm. It's time to start acting for the future. Right. Be very careful not to let anyone guess at our plans. Hmm. I will. Gosh. 
That's certainly crazy. Lead the way. Um, please no plot. Please no plot. Please no plot. Please no plot. Sorry about dog noises. Please no plot. We're good. Okay, sorry about that. I got interrupted once again by my dog. <laughs> but yeah. All right, this part was a lot longer than I meant for it to be, but hey, it was pretty good. Um, we got to learn about a whole lot of things. We have a new objective to head over to the Ascariuth Mines, Asca that place. And um, I have no idea where that is in the world map or in relation to anywhere else, but hey, we'll figure that out. Um, so be sure to give advice. Uh, anything I missed even, which is a good chance I did, um, try and let me know. Either way, I thank you guys so much for tuning in this video, and I will see you guys later. Hope you guys have a very nice day, and yep, uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Bye!